Hello and welcome to the Bester Deck, a special new episode of the Best Deck, talking a little bit about the future of this series. Basically, um, I wanted to make a variant of the Best Deck that didn't have any hero conflicts, uh, that always used the same four heroes, uh, so nobody could say <laughs> that it wasn't a one deck. Uh, there's no technicalities for this one. Um, <clears throat> so I changed, I've been, I, I tried a bunch of different heroes, but I ended up with Barivor, Glorfindel, Denethor, Baragond. And I really think they might be the best heroes of their respective spheres, just in general. I mean, Denethor is probably the best leadership hero. I don't think anybody argues with that too much. Glorfindel with Asphalot is probably the best spirit hero. Uh, I really think Barivor is an unsung hero, especially in solo, uh, when you can get half of your deck in six turns. Uh, it just opens up a lot of possibilities. And I'm not going to talk about Baragond anymore because there's nothing left to say. I've used every word in the English dictionary to talk about Baragond. <laughs> so, uh, so I changed Grima to Barivor and Gildor to Denethor. And really, though, it's more of a this kind of a swap, because I know I needed a card draw hero, um, and I know I needed a resource hero. Uh, we thank you guys. Grima and Gildor will never forget them. We we thank them for their service, but uh, as this series continues, I will be using the Bester deck variant. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replay the just the reduced quest gauntlet quest from the Merkwood cycle. Um, and then I'm going to go straight to the Dwarodel cycle with the Bester deck. I know our, our plans have changed just a bit, but it'll be good to replay those quests. Those quests are really hard. Um, it's good to get some more data on them. Um, but this deck does play, I mean, Dogador, depending on your hero lineup, it's going to play differently. Uh, and Razgabel, this is going to play differently. I'm not going to have a ranged hero anymore. Uh, and then Return to Mirkwood. Um, it'll probably play pretty similar, but I'll just do it. <laughs> I really think this deck is better than the best deck. I, I really think, uh, originally I was just making a variant, but it seemed to, uh, supersede the best deck's abilities. Um, so I, I'd call it the bester deck. I really think, uh, this, this 50 cards, uh, plus these four heroes is probably, uh, the gr I really think it's it's the best possible deck you can make in this game, or close to it. There's probably a card or two uh, that, you know, my own personal biases, uh, that there might be a card or two that should be switched for a different card or two. Uh, but I really think this is really close to, the to you know, the most efficient deck you can make. Uh, only three player cards have changed from the best deck. Um, <clears throat> Blood of Numenor became Bow 4, and Spear of the Citadel became Pippin because of the questing power, right? This deck's one, uh, <clears throat> one thing it's not super good at is questing out of the gate. Um, but really, I never, when I did the Reduced Quest Gauntlet with this, um, I really never had to quest big out of the gate. I never quested with Barivor. I think it was... At one time at Encounter at Amon Din, where you have to quest really big at the beginning. It was the only time I've ever quested with her. Um, otherwise, A, B, C, D, always be card drawing. <laughs> so, always be card drawing. Uh, now, what makes this um, deck, takes it over the top, uh, is this, I think. Um, you have Denethor, you Thromongulum, uh, you put an Unexpected Courage on, uh, and you're just in control of the encounter deck, you combine it with Fire Roll and Hanamarth, uh, and you just scry your little <clears throat> son of Ichthylian, uh butt off. And really, you can um, <clears throat> control so much of the game when you get this set up. You just wait for him, you save him for the end. Uh, you might need a block with him. If not, you can scry. Uh, if the first scry is good, then you can save the second one for the end of the round. Uh, it's just really, 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 really good. Uh, so, and then the, I changed Ranger Spikes. Uh, I had Ranger Spikes in for a few unique enemies like Gulat and whoever the Jailer is in Mount Graham, but I, I just realized I didn't really need that. Um, and the same thing when I played Nin and Elf again, I didn't really need the Blood of Numenor. Uh, so, I mean, those are really a hard quest, but I could uh, 
get away without them. So I really needed a bit more questing power. And um, this dark knowledge is really cool. Uh, it's basically for the Balrog. So the problem with the Balrog is you can't destroy him like I thought you could. I, I, I thought you could grab a goblin, uh, the Durin's Bane, the Shadow and Fear Balrog, not the Balrog from the um, the Sagas. But anyways, you attach dark knowledge to Baragon. He's got another. He's got another head attachment, <laughs> just like Ravenwing Helm. He's got another head attachment, and then. When, when Durin's Bane gets a shadow effect, you can look at it with Dark Knowledge because Baragon can block him 70% of the time. It's just the 30% of the time uh, that he can't block him. It's like Blazing Grip or something. Deletes all your attachments and causes a damage. Well, obviously, Baragon can't lose all his attachments in this deck. Uh, so what you do is you pair him with like uh, two... Like this guy. This guy, and uh, when you play Shadow and Fear, Shadow and Flame with this guy, he's really bad because your threat's like five. So, but he, anybody with two health, you just sit him next to Baragon. Baragon looks at the Balrog Shadow effect. Anytime you see that Blazing Grip, you're going to have to sacrifice someone. Uh, and then you're going to have to put next man up. Uh, and then hopefully you can get him back with Nori or whatever. Uh, but that's about it. Um, this this deck really just uh, demolished the Reduced Quest God. It just As much as you can trounce those quests, uh, it, it trounced them. Uh, as much as you can trounce them. They're very difficult. Uh, but I'm just really excited about this deck. I, I think it's more fun than the best deck. It's bester and fudder. Uh, I think you guys will like it. Uh, give it a try if you want. I'm going to continue the series with this variant. Um, and I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, once more onto the breach with Dogador. Hope you guys would join me there. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.